here we go. I had the music ready for the night, Jay Ellis, man. <laughs> I was ready to hit the music. Knicks lose 109-104. All right, here we go. They go on a 15-0 run in the third quarter. 17-point lead. From that point on, the Sixers go on a 45-21 to devastating comeback victory. And Knicks lose 109-104. What happened out there tonight, man? Talk to me, man. Talk to me, man. Uh, let's see. The 76ers took us lightly all night long. They left us open for shots. We hit them. Frank was hitting them. DSJ was hitting them. And before you knew it, we were up. But then they decided to turn up the pressure and they punched us in the mouth and we didn't know what to do. We didn't punch back. Um, and then like every other close game that happened before, when the game got tight, too much iso ball with Randall and Morris. Uh, the, the coach did what he tried to do. The coach actually called a timeout when they went iso ball. Yeah. Ran some plays from RJ Bar- for R.J. Barrett. Called timeout again, ran some plays for Marcus Morris for pick and roll. So the coach actually did some things to combat the iso ball from those guys. But at the end, we just stopped making shots. I think we just we just got away from our game plan and what got us going all night long, yeah. um, which to me it started in the hands of Frank. You know, say what you will. Frank Nilakina to me, had his best game uh, of the season once again against the hottest defense in the league right now. I, I thought Frank had a, had an excellent offensive game tonight a, as well as defensively. You know, de- the defense is starting to be our calling card. I think our identity yeah. is starting to take shape. And that's on the defensive end, and it starts with Frank. You know, tonight was interesting because when once Taj went down with the two quick fouls, give credit to Max from the Bronx, he called that. Then Mitch comes in, he picks up two quick fouls. I thought this was going to get away from us real early. Uh, but we actually hung in there, we fought with him, we we hung in there punch for punch. And in the third quarter, we we, we hit him with the haymaker, but it just, yeah. just wasn't enough. It just wasn't enough to knock him out, man. The refs try to knock us out. In the oh, first. the ref, the refs are terrible. The the refs they were are terrible, man. Horrendous, oh. horrendous, horrendous. Man. I hate how we keep getting these calls for for uh, biting on the on the pump fakes, but we never actually touch the player. Oh man, yeah, they they gave Embiid all of those tonight, every oh. single one. I, I I mean, you could whisper on them, and, and they were calling a, a flagrant or a foul on them. It, it was crazy, man. Yeah, and on the other end, Joel Embiid, Joel Embiid literally fell on top of Dennis Smith Jr. And nothing happened. It was <laughs> literally fell on top of him. And it was just like, yo, what is happening right now? I'm going to give it to the Knicks. Uh, they kept fighting. And we got it We got it close. But, man, we just – the bad habits, man. Bad habits. Bad, bad habits. habits. The game get tight from our veterans. Yeah. And, listen, I under, listen, I understand it. at that point in the game, okay, uh, to, to, first off, the turning point of the game started with three minutes and 20 seconds left in the, in the third quarter. After we went on that uh, 15-0 run, six is going to 10-0 run. Okay, overall a 17-0 run before we put Frank back in a game. The ironic thing was that the second unit, which propelled us in the second quarter, led by DSJ, led by Dotson, led by Portis, uh, completely blew the game in the third and let Philly come back into it. I thought that was a pivotal stretch in the game because I understood that Fizz wanted to give us a rest, and rightfully so, we had a a 17-point lead. But with the Sixers still keeping Embiid and Simmons in there, Ben Simmons just went in attack mode and just yeah. took advantage of that. He was just killing us on the defensive end, started distributing, and Philly got going. You know, Mike Scott got going, Ben Simmons got going, and and, and basically that was the turning point of the whole game, man. Yeah, I think um, they saw what DSJ was doing because DSJ was actually playing pretty well offensively. He was. He was. So I think, I think Fizdale was, was like, all right, let's give these guys a blow. DSJ has it going tonight. We'll see what happened. And DSJ uh, – he looked, he looked a little bit discombobulated after he came back in to support his second stint. Yeah. Um, and then also Dot, um, he was actually making the right plays. He just wasn't finishing. Like, it was a, it was a time he attacked the basket, and he broke free for an easy layup, but I think he cho- he panicked a little bit and missed the layup. And that one layup, I felt like, kind of changed the whole uh, complexion of the game. That, that and the DSJ turnover when he dribbled into three people. Killed us, man. <laughs> Killed us, yeah. absolutely killed us, man. Had Trey Burke feeling good out there, man. I was tight. 
You know yeah, what I mean? They, they almost yeah. had Trey Burke getting a v- revenge game on us, man. Come on, man. Yeah, man, they had Trey in there. <laughs> and we had Trey in there, but I was like, oh, they got Frank in there. Frank going to shut him down. I there it play. is. And, and Frank, you know, Frank uh, got Trey to turn the ball over. We were back in the game, man, in the fourth. We were back in the game. Again, I, I'm, this is the point. This is the pivotal stretch where I'm just like, okay, can they close? Who are they going to go to? Can they get the key stops? And, you know, Julius, had a, he had a couple buckets. Then he comes down. Twice has RJ wide open. He had, he had one play wow. where he could have hit Mitch with the lob or RJ for the corner three. Ends up dribbling it off his leg. Back to back, to back plays. Miss wide open uh, uh, Knicks. You that had, was infuriating. You, you had Mook. Okay. You know, Mook splashes a three. Okay. He's feeling it. He catches Mitch with the back to back alley oops. Great. Yep. Then they then they go away from it. The very next possession. Yeah, run Ju- it back. Run it back. They go away from it. Luckily, Julius steals it, gets fouled, only makes one. And that's the thing with Julius the whole this whole season. He's only making one for two, one for two. The free throws has to step up. Got it. Got to step it up in the crunch time. So we're down by one. Okay, we're down by one. It's about two minutes left. Sorry, let me just pull it up. Two minutes left. Julius makes an excellent defensive stand on the other end. Forces yeah. the turnover. That's what you want your money man to do. He forces the turnover. Morris gets it. Three on one break. You, you got to give it up, Jails. Yeah. You got That's to give it up, man. That's you got to give it. You had numbers, Mook. Give That's the ball the up, man. Or let Frank initiate the break. You got That's- it. You know, I don't, I don't mind them taking it down the stretch, but let, we got to be smarter with with the play yeah. selection, man. You got to pick your spots. Got to pick like, the spots, man. They want to do everything themselves, right? And and that's why the coach called a timeout for the first time because you notice because Marcus was trying to do everything himself the first time. Coach called a timeout and was running pick and roll, yeah, with RJ and Mitch, and then that didn't work, so he went somewhere else. But like, man, like it's it's mental with these guys, man, because. At least I know Marcus has the talent to kind of do it, but his decision making is off. He wants to win so bad, he needs, but he has to give up the ball and trust his teammates a little bit more. Got, got to give that up. Got to give it up, man. We we can't have you starting to break. You can't have you starting to plays. That's just not his game, you know. And, no. and and listen, he's played well for us this season, man. He has played well for us this season. I'll give him that. But yeah. it was just a little, it was too much hero ball tonight, especially on a night when Frank had it going, was facilitating well. Yeah, yeah, he didn't record on the assists, but it, things were just happening with when Frank had the ball in his hands, man. They, they were just much more smooth on the offensive end. Yo, think about this, CP. You like, what made it more frustrating was literally almost the whole team was shooting better than Randall. <laughs> and Marcus, but they still didn't want to get the ball up. <laughs> yeah. Like, Taj, 80%. <laughs> Frank, 75%. Mitchell shot 100%. Bobby, 50%. Dennis Smith Jr., 50%. Knox, 100%. I mean, Dotson didn't have a great game, and RJ didn't have a great game. But it's like, almost everybody else shot a better percentage than those guys, but didn't want to give it up. It's like, what got else it. has to happen? Got it. Got to swing it, man. Got to swing what it. And, and listen, you know, Julius was doing better with the tunnel vision since the last game. Yes. Only two turnovers tonight, but the you know, you had you had RJ wide open. And RJ didn't have a great game. Let's 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 be no. honest. He didn't have a good shoot a night again. But but still, you know, sometimes when you make those plays in rhythm, good things happen and we, we just the the men, the momentum just completely just slipped out of our hands since that since that third quarter, man. We just never um regained our composure to, to win yeah. the game. Composure is the word, man. Because when they put the pressure on us, we kind of panicked a little bit, man. Yeah, kind yeah. Of panicked. We didn't know how to match their energy. Um, we talked about how about Taj once again. Taj Gibson, even though the two fouls uh, got him in trouble, he led that third quarter spark, man. Taj was five for six from the field again, eleven points. Took out the cell. He, the cell phone was out. He was dialing in from long distance. He hit a three pointer. Taj was excellent for us tonight, man. Even though he, he he had to catch up. Yeah, man. Like I, I kind of feel like the refs, the Sixers got a little lucky because Taj was in his his mode in the first quarter when the yeah. game first started. But the, those two quick fouls took him out the game fairly quickly. And from my eyes, 
I didn't see any fouls at all from Taj. I don't know what those calls came from. It was garbage. 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 Definitely garbage. Mm -hmm. And it took, man, listen, because at the start of the game, um, and B couldn't hit a jump shot to save his life. Nah, not at all. We got going later, but but Taj was in everything. I mean, I, I feel like we had a bigger lead in the beginning if Taj was still in the game, but that's that's neither here nor there. Yeah, it, it just it just fell apart on us, man. Refs were lousy. How, how about the flagrant foul call on Mars, the technical? Yo, it took him 10 hours. I was ready to go to sleep and take a nap, JLs. Yeah, Come was, on, man. These refs are bad. The, the replay man. system has made these refs worse. Yeah. It's made them worse. How long does it take you to see that that's a technical foul and, t and two technicals and a flagrant? I don't know. Come on, man. With, with Without the TVs, they would have made that call back in the day. They would have made that call in two seconds. Hell yeah, they, they, they had the D League refs in there today. Come on, man. Come <laughs> on, man. It, it was up. ridiculous, man. It was but, so bad. Ah, what are you gonna do, man? What are you gonna do? You know, we we went toe to toe with the top defense in the league. We 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 hung in there. It's a game of runs. We just, you know, like I said, that third quarter was pivotal, man. Because when they had Embiid and Simmons out there. And we ran out there with our second unit, who gave us good minutes, gave us solid yeah, minutes yeah. in that second quarter. Yo, the crazy part is, is like, we're pretty deep. We're a decent defensive team, man. Our yeah. offense has to catch. Our offense just has to catch up a little bit, <laughs> just a Facts. little bit, because we're dead last in everything. And even in a game like tonight, how many? Like a game like tonight, when your guards are hitting everything, you would think we'd be in the one. 115, 120. Yeah. But no. It's like we still only end up with 17 assists. We got to move the ball a little bit more. Got to move it. Got to move it, man. Started off moving it well, though. They, they yeah. started off moving it well. But when things got tight, uh, again, we, we got to figure out how we're going to close. Got to figure out how we're going to close. But I feel like the defensive identity is starting to take shape. So I'm, I'm certainly encouraged by that. Word for real, like we when you have six guys shooting over fifty percent from the field on the team, move the ball. You gotta move it. <laughs> move it. You gotta move it. Keep going. Yeah, man. My man Frank. My man Frank had it going tonight, though, Come man. On, Come on, man. man. Yo, Frank was in his bag. Frank was in his bag. Those 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 mid range elbow jumpers. He, he, he was it. flashing those. Oh man, Frank Frank was on his game. Hey, listen. Confidence. It's always about confidence with this kid, man. I mean, in the first shot you took, I mean, Clyde was literally literally about to jump onto the court and beg him to shoot it. Because <laughs> it was like... Look, it's something about being away from MSG, man. Yeah. I don't know what it is. He looks like a completely different player. He turned it on. He turned yeah. it on. Yeah, T TM in the chat said the Frank Hive was ready to go off tonight. Yeah, they was ready to go off tonight, man. Yeah, man. Absolutely. <laughs> If he didn't sit that much, if he didn't sit uh, too long, and from the third to the fourth, he would have broke his, he would have got his career high. But I feel like he get, he came in the game in a weird part. It was where, too late. Like, yeah, it, got, it was kind of a little tight. Marcus decided he's gonna shoot everything, and so did Randall. <laughs> yeah. so, like the decisions, like, the decisions yeah. were already made. The decisions were already made. Yeah. Like when he came back in the game, there was like nine nine in his ball back. Oh <laughs> man, eighty five percent. I think when he left the game, he was at eighty five percent. Damn boy. <laughs> And it was like, no, nah, you're not getting this ball back. It's like, oh, okay, well. <laughs> Sheesh. Ah, uh, well, that's that's how the game goes, man. Once again, Knicks lose. 109-104. Salute to Knicks Nation out there. Let me hit the reset. CP from Knicks Fan TV. My man JL's from Nick of Time Show. This yep. is number one show for the fans by the fans. Nice. Where we talk about Knicks news, Knicks rumors, and post-game live analysis featuring live callers. Who we're gonna get to shortly. If you're a diehard Knicks fan who loves to talk about Knicks news, Knicks rumors, and post game live analysis, hit that subscribe button below and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Salute to all hashtag new. If you're new in the chat, leave us a hashtag new so we yep. can shout you guys out. I wanna shout out first and foremost Edgar Acevedo. He says he's new to the chat, he's coming in from Twitter. So salute to everybody watching from Twitter. Okay. He says uh, Embiid is a scumbag. Refs gave him the phantom calls. On top of that, I agree 100%. Yeah, man. One hundred percent with everything he just said, man. I can't stand Embiid, bro. Can't stand Embiid, bro. I hate him, yo. Yeah, man. Oh my god. And, and you know what? What's so funny? I had a feeling either Mook or Portis was was gonna uh, get into it with him tonight. I had a feeling. I was hoping it was Bobby. I was really hoping it was Bobby. 
<laughs> yeah, because at least maybe he could withstand that. Yeah. I was kind of low key hoping that Mook got into something with him. I, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to see it. I'm not gonna yeah, lie. man. I, I was, didn't I, want him to get suspended, but I, yeah. I low key wanted to see it. I was hoping him and Bobby would have tussled, man. I was looking forward to that, man. I was looking forward to it. That's a fact. I was hoping Matt Bobby's going to have a flashback to those Chicago games. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, shout out Jay Diller. What's going on, Jay Diller? Uh, salute to the real Jay Diller, man. Well, not the real Jay Diller, but you know the more famous yeah. Jay Diller, man. Rest in peace, yeah, Jay yeah. Diller. Uh, he, he says uh, we're looking better, looking better and better. And hey, yeah. I mean, if, like I said, the defense is certainly encouraging. You go up against the top defense tonight in the league, and again, they they didn't back down. You know, they ah. obviously they went into a rut, but they didn't back down. So we so we give them a little bit of credit there, but but no more victories tonight, JLs. We wanted that win tonight, man. Yeah, man. Like I don't feel like the defense beat us. I feel like we beat no, ourselves. We beat ourselves. We beat ourselves. We we like, beat, we beat we, ourselves. Like we had to make the correct plays. Now if we missed those open shots, that's one thing, but we gotta move the ball to get those shots, man. Like For sure. For sure, for sure. That's the next step, man. I know I seen I've seen uh Fizz talking about how much Morris is a leader, and Morris texts them every morning. Hey, coach, what can I do? This, Pass. <laughs> there you go. I'm letting you know what to tell Morris right now. Pass. <laughs> Pass. Pass the ball. Trust your teammates, man. Mm-hmm. I'm sure they're going to be looking at films tonight. Like, yeah. look, see that? Look, see that? Yo, I, they need, remember last year when uh they had uh, Mitchell Robinson doing push-ups every time he hit somebody with his hand on like, a yeah, foul. Yeah. <laughs> Every time they, they don't pass like the ball, man. somebody's open, they need to do 10 push-ups. Facts. 